Hello, my name is Martin Wahi and the purpose of this video is to give an overview how to do video editing and recording with 2014 Debian. Uh, first of all, in order to do any kind of video editing then uh, one really needs an SSD drive uh, because those ordinary magnetic disks simply do not have uh, enough writing and reading uh, speeds. Uh, secondly, uh, when trying to record text, uh, for example the way I uh, do right now, then microphones that uh, are connected directly uh, to the analog input uh, of motherboards uh, are not suitable uh, because there's a lot of electrical noise and that ends up being uh, in the analog channels. So the way I record my current uh, text is by using a separate uh, mp3 player that is attached uh, to my clothing. And I add that uh, text later onto the video by using video editing. Now, second uh, hurdle that often is the case with Debian and Lin Linux is that, uh, well, the, if the sound uh, is recorded uh, separately, let's say from YouTube videos, then the video, then those uh, videos and sounds are uh, not aligned properly. Uh, so uh, now I'm simply going to describe how to record a YouTube video so that the sound uh, is aligned with the video. And it's tricky and most likely it will not uh, be the same uh, in future Debian distributions, but uh, well, for the time being, that's the case. Uh, first of all, there's one program called uh, Power Control. Okay, that's actually a sound control, and um, well, actually, there are a lot of uh, different settings here, but what's interesting is this recording part. Now I'm going to place that over here. And the second one, a uh, program that I'm going to use, is uh, uh, TGT Record My Desktop. Okay, uh, now there are some things that have to be uh, paid attention to. First of all, the working directory has to be uh, some kind of folder that uh, has been mount mounted or resides at the SSD disk because otherwise, uh, well, the write speeds are not are going to be a problem. Uh, secondly, uh, the setting named device here has to be this pulse. Uh, the rest of the settings are, well, not not that important. Uh, then, of course, uh, the place of the file should also reside at the SSD disk. So in this case, uh, I say stage one will be the name of the file. And then, after pushing record, uh, this is the uh, change in this uh, volume control. Over here, the settings has to be uh, something along those lines, but but anyways, it will definitely change when the Debian distribution will change. But this is how it works in, in December 2014. And uh, at the moment, uh, my Debian actually supports 3D, which uh, also needed some extra installing, but I don't cover that in this video. So right now, it is actually recording. And... Uh, yes, well... Okay, so, hold it, actually, uh, this, uh, record my desktop is actually recording right now, and to stop that, there is this at the bottom of the screen, this separate button, and now it encodes, uh, this uh, encoding might take a little bit of time, 
but uh, well now I'll probably going to pause this video and hmm. Okay, uh, right now the, uh, the record my desktop created this file called stage1.ogv but the problem is that this stage1.ogv is actually flawed so uh, in order to, uh, to make it possible uh, to edit that video with a separate video program uh, this stage1.ogv actually has to be converted uh, first uh, to WebM format and that can be done with uh, uh, well <laughs> and uh, this FFmpeg uh, is not the one that comes uh, with a standard Debian distribution but it actually has to be compiled downloaded from the original author so page and then uh, compiled and that way it uh, contains all those uh, uh, codecs and, and necessary parts Okay, so the resultant file is uh, stage 1 WebM. Now that WebM, uh, as can be seen from the screen, uh, is without loss. And that can be edited with a separate program called Cajun Live. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Anyways. Okay, and over here. Uh, one just uh, adds the clip and then drags them well I'm not going to cover how to use that program but uh, afterwards after the editing has been done here uh, the conversion or rendering uh, can be done from this render and the things to notice here uh, when choosing WebM is that the audio should be placed with maximum uh, bitrate same with video and there has to be a separate uh, tick placed there and of course uh, when uh, sa saving it the file location should reside at the SSD uh, disk and that's it hope it was helpful thank you for watching